Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. Wobi founder is looking to sell shares while the company downsizes. Harmony raises the prize 10 times to reclaim stolen tokens. Meta has decided to shutter crypto wallet application Novi. Anchor suffers from DNS attack related to Polygon and Phantom Networks. Board Ape owners now can rent out their NFTs to brands. Now let's dive into the details. Huobi founder is looking to sell shares while the company downsizes. The founder and CEO, Leon Lee of global exchange giant Huobi, is reportedly looking to sell more than 50% of his stake in the company as the exchange faces revenue difficulties following its policy of banning Chinese users. A spokesperson for the company had several comments on the current financial troubles. Due to the current market environment, Huobi Global is in the process of reviewing both its hiring policies and its current manpower, with the goal of realigning them to its operational needs. Further to such review, layoffs are a possibility. Harmony raises the prize 10 times to reclaim stolen tokens. The project team has also contacted law enforcement agencies as well as Chain Analysis and Anchain.ai to identify the culprit. Harmony also raised the ransom amount to 10 million US dollars, 10 times more than the previous figure. An amount of 10 million USD will also be donated to those who provide information to help the project get their money back. Besides, Harmony also gives hackers a deadline of Monday, July 4th at 2300 GMT. Specifically, this attack is done through a multi-sig wallet. This is how Lazarus did it many times in the past. They also pointed out how this is similar to the attack that cost Axie Infinity $550 million, which Lazarus is also believed to be the culprit. Meta has decided to shutter crypto wallet application Novi. Meta finally decided to stop her unfinished dream for DM and Novi. According to the official announcement on Meta's website, the project is urging users to withdraw funds from the platform as soon as possible. Starting from July 21, the user's account will have the deposit slash withdrawal feature disabled. The Novi wallet linked to WhatsApp will also no longer be available. Users will also not be able to access their transaction history or other data after the test is closed. Anchor suffers from DNS attack related to Polygon and Phantom Networks. Anchor, a node infrastructure provider for proof-of-stake blockchains, announced that it had suffered a domain name hijacking attack, also known as a DNS attack. While attackers were able to hijack the RPCs of two crypto-related platforms, Polygon and Phantom. According to available information, the hackers could be looking to deviously trick users to provide information about wallet seed phrases. RPCs are a type of software communication tool used to transfer data between networks. Anchor revealed that it was working on the issues raised by the community members while advising them to use other RPCs as an alternative to the compromised ones. Bored Ape owners now can rent out their NFTs to brands. A new NFT licensing marketplace that permits hodlers to rent out their apes IP to brands has attracted hundreds of owners of Bored Apes. According to the website, Bored Jobs, which was developed by blockchain accelerator Mouse Belt Labs, all 10,000 BAYC NFTs will be listed there for brands to peruse and indicate interest in hiring for campaigns. Without the different BAYC owners signing up and confirming ownership to browse offers, 10,000 apes will obviously not be offered for hiring. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.